Okay, next, after um, retention grids, major connector retention grids, excuse me, we have now here down on the bottom, well, I'll move it up here, we have the default uh, rest outline. So once again, we've got to close the circle, we're going to dip our um, um, uh, digital pen, or if you want to call it a digital spatula. There is a default here to the substructure thickness and the wax thickness. This needs to be played around with. I'm going to outline the rest. Naturally, if you go over the margin of the rest, you're going to have some trimming. You go under the margin of the rest, it'll be short. And I'll close the circle there. I can zoom in. Again, this would be outlined if it's a textured scan. I'll go over to, again, dip it in the rest icon here. Got my pencil, outline, my rest. I think I'm going to delete this. I'm going to wait till I'm done here. And I'll delete spline and I'm going to use the rest icon to create the guide plane because I can see here that clasp is next and the clasp won't do the guide plane. So I'm going to come down here again and then I'll use this guide plane to fill this area. Come straight up here with the guide plane. And my rest area here. And I'll add one more point and close it. And then let's go back to now reorient the model. There we go. Didn't like that. Dip it in my rest icon, outline, my musical rest for the acres clasp on seven. Guide plane down. I want to join it here. I can always smooth it off. I think the challenge in digital is like, okay, what's this going to look like when I print? And is that what I would do if I was to wax and cast on the refractory model and then adjust on my next one. So I think I would have to do like 10 prototypes of the same framework till I'm satisfied with thicknesses. Call that R and D, call that learning curve. But I think that's necessary. So these two guide planes and rests are attached here. Again, I can move the splines up and down. And here I just did the occlusal rest, which I'll attach. Maybe I can do another rest here for the guide plane. Why don't we do that? Dip it into the rest icon. And then this is going to be a G-class, but it's going to be right up here at the shoulder of the marginal ridge. Come down here. Let's attach it. Well, I can't quite see what I'm doing here. Oh, it's a little bit too much, but that's okay. We'll have a stronger connection. And close it. Again, you can click on your uh, design, right mouse click. You can remove point. You can delete point. You can move up and down to widen the diameter. Like this one here, when I said it was a little bit too much, I'll just move it over a bit more. This is going to be a critical area here. I think I want to uh, come into like this. And then that I'll just use the rest now as an extension of my major connector, which I guess I could go back to major connector and move that dot up. Right? And then I'll see what it looks like when it's all connected and then maybe go back. How about over here? Maybe this looks a little bit suspect as well. 
a smoother transition. Move to the center of my screen. I'll zoom out for you. So there we have major connector and rest design. Let's see what it looks like when we hit next. It'll probably move on to the clasps. Major connector area is too small.